hello everyone in this video i'm gonna show you how to prevent duplicates in model driven apps tables okay so in model driven app uh, so i have created a model driven app a simple model driven app in the solutions this is apc solutions go to this abc and here you can see the app okay so let's open this app just play it and you can see a form here with name active employees let's add a few data here i'm adding one two three four five as an employee id java designation developer okay i'm saving this one so now if you go to the employees you can see one item with the same thing but if i go to new and again give the same employee number like one two three four five with the name hare kiran skills sap designation senior lead and I'm saving it and if you go to the employees and you can see you have same employee ID here one two three four five one two three four five but it must not uh, allow this one because here some duplicate duplicates one two three four five okay so now I will delete this one and I will delete and now I will show you how to create uh, a key which will prevent the duplicates in this particular table go to the solutions and you can see here employee the table okay here in the you can see here in the schema keys go to the keys create a key so our key must be based on employee id so select your employee id save it and it is cre it is creating some rules or it is running some batch jobs i think it is in pending state now let's wait for a few minutes so that it will become active or failed then we can understand so before this uh, let's uh, let's happen so you can uh, visit our youtube channel and you can also access many of our uh, lessons on power apps sharepoint and power automate and also if you are interested you can also <coughs> purchase our courses available here if you see we have interview questions power automate in english telugu sharepoint Power Automate, SharePoint in English, Power Apps in English, all these things, okay? Just you need to click one tidbit dot on graphy dot com. Okay, so let's check this is happening or not. So it's in still pending. Let me refresh. Okay, it's still pending. So suppose if you want to buy anything uh, on our site, you can always go to this URL. So I'm giving the URL. The text, where is the text? Just playing, I think. This is a URL. Just go here and buy my courses here. Okay. Thank you. Let's go and see here. Yeah, it's still in pending. Yeah, it's active now. Okay. Now, let's see. You want to see? Yeah, it's active. Now, let's go to this employees active form where we have created this name, right? With employee ID one two three four five. Let me create one more. 
I'm creating the same employee ID. I'm giving the name as Rajuna. Skills SAP designation developer and set. So it's taking some time now because it's C. A record that has attribute values employee ID already exists. The entity key employee ID key requires that the set of attributes contain your unique value select unique values and try again see it's, uh, it's telling us to give us some unique values not the existing values okay so let's change this one and change this to one two three four five six and i will save this one and if you come here and you see this one two three four five one two three four five six so it's not allowing the duplicates this is how we can prevent these duplicates in the model driven apps just by creating a key here based on the column whatever column you want just take that column and create a key here okay like this thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also buy my courses here thank you